Time for Weather Word Wednesday, and today's word is a phrase, UV index. Meteorologist Jacob Morris explains. First of all, welcome back, Heidi, and congratulations on your wedding last weekend. But you had a question that you sent me that you thought would be a good Morse code topic a while ago, and here I'm going to explain it for all of you at home. So the question was, can we say go out for a walk and soak up some vitamin D in the fall and winter time when the days are shorter and the sun is lower on the horizon? Well, the answer is except during the summer months, the skin makes little if any vitamin D from the sun at latitudes above 37 degrees north, which is where we are at. People who live in these areas are at a relatively greater risk for vitamin D deficiency in the colder months. The reason being is because of the sun angle. So and the colder months, closer to the winter solstice, our sun angle is very low on the horizon. On December 21st, it's only at 20 degrees above the horizon. Whereas in the summertime, the sun is all the way up at 67 degrees, much closer to directly overhead. So the human body generally does not synthesize significant amounts of vitamin D when the sun is below a 45 degree angle. At these lower sun angles, the UVB radiation needed for vitamin D production is too weak to a effectively trigger its synthesis in the skin. And speaking of the UV index, I'll explain more about this during my full Morse code of weather segment later today, but you can still get a sunburn in the winter time. And I'll have a lot more coming up about sun angles, the UV index, and how it is still important to talk about in the colder months coming up on First News at 4.